Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hey! It is Pix Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Fight Trials and Tribulations when we left off. Larry this idiot. is dumb. He's so dumb. He's dumber than we thought. I can't believe this boy. Like, Just when you think there's no new low you can find for this man, <laughs> lo and behold, dumb shit science prevails. Jesus. Now, the night of the crime. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? This is sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut you, scumbag. Don't a young lady like that. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold up. The what now, pal? What are you talking about? The threatening stuff. I tell you what, you tried to scare us by threatening to expose a secret, pal. What do you mean threatened? When did I threaten her? Oh my god. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That just sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? Uh, wha <laughs> what? What did you just say? My love felt burned so hot, it could melt all the snow in this mountain. Uh, 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 oh, oh, then what is this? Then what is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and oh me. Oh my god. Obviously, she wouldn't want that old black lady bikini know about it, right? Oh my god. About our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, then why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? Give me a break, it's not my fault I didn't have any of the envelopes, yeesh. Then why uh, are you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. Oh my god. Words, I just imagine him giving him that fucking glare that he does when he's losing in court. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it. That's what those huge locks were about. I, I, I don't understand why you were so defensive. <laughs> well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is, you shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Oh my god. Hey, come on, don't get it. Don't, don't let me get you down. You're right, I shouldn't expect much from you. <laughs> uh, you want to come down, pal? <laughs> but, Miss Edgeworth, this guy's still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, Oh, hey, detective? there's a bridge in the back. Yeah. I Don't forget noticed. what this guy said just a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night, <laughs> I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry. Well, wait, wait, you're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. The something incredible, please. Well, we will strangle. God. I will fucking murder you. <laughs> I, I already told you, didn't I? I saw light in the straight dusky bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. But what doesn't? That's all there is to your story. Your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? When? Where? Why? How? All the stuttering just proves it. Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Miss Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. <laughs> ah. Jesus, Oh my more. god. Jesus fucking uh, fuck balls. Holy. No. <laughs> Edgeworth. <laughs> but what's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? <laughs> but why are you gleaming like I'm next to be hit by both the lightning? I've just about had it with this Harlequin. <laughs> if I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Jesus. I know when I saw all those chains going, I'm like, I've only <laughs> seen this like a couple other times before. I was like, before. you little fucking shit stick. Five. Watch him be the fucking murderer. <laughs> uh, listen, as, as fishy as he's being, he doesn't have the guts no, to murder No, I know, but thing. I'm just like, what? Jesus. He couldn't murder a fucking guppy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> God damn. Ugh, I wish we could have talked to Iris and told her that the fake blackmail letter uh, was just a, an idiot's love letter. We'll just have to tell her today. Yeah. I guess if we have a chance. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my, Mr. Larice feels that way about me? Ugh, apparently. He isn't aware of your real secret at all. Mm. <laughs> this is no time to be embarrassed. I I'm 
sorry. I'm just hardly accustomed to that sort of thing. Worry not. In any case, whatever it was that he saw on the night of the incident, mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Loris is the witness today? No. I believe that Nun will be the first to take the stand. Sister Bikini? She claims to have seen the very instant in which you carried out the crime. Hmm. I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you who killed Miss Elise Dunham, correct? That is correct. It wasn't me. Very well, then. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? If your true identity is revealed... Don't worry. I've made the necessary arrangements. Uh, I see. Iris? It is the prosecutor's job to doubt people. Hmm. But right now, I'm a defense attorney. A defense attorney's job yep. is to believe in people. And to believe until the bitter end. That's what my friend that's what my friend told me once. Yep. Mr. Edgeworth. I simply ask that you watch and decide for yourself whether or not I am fit to do the task I have been entrusted. Mm -mm. Very well, sir. I leave my defense in your capable hands. Ooh. Oh boy. This is gonna be weird, man. It is. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be all reversed. What the hell? What the fuck? Wait, no, why am I standing on that? Why, why am I still standing on the other side? <laughs> no, we're standing on the defense side. Er, okay, yeah. Do you I, never pay attention when that opening sequence comes it just, up? It just happens so much for so little. All right, anyways. <sighs> time for your, uh... Gordon Allen's answer for the trial to see the hours of House of Girl Temple. <laughs> what a great Canadian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This is weird. Whoa. Oh my god! And to be fair, he has changed a lot since the last time he was in this, this in his courtroom. Yeah. So the defense is ready, Your what Honor. What the fuck? Uh, the defense does indeed appear to be ready. However, the same cannot be said for the prosecution in this case. Because they're trying to hold that surprise in. Yeah. <laughs> Give her to us. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this court time. And that the prosecutor's there can only mean that the prosecutor had no confidence in their ability to prove their case. It would seem this case is already over before it had a chance to begin. I'm ready to announce my verdict at this time. <laughs> Dude, this would be the greatest <laughs> string to pull ever. This court finds a defendant. The easy peasy. Oh, oh yep. yeah. Oh man! Welcome back, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution stands ready, uh, and you are Francisca von Karma, prosecuting prodigy. Von von, von Karma, you say? Perchance chance you wouldn't be of any relation to the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. Hmm. Legends are a thing of the past. I am a von Karma. That is all. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purposes of prosecuting this case. You did? You must be quite a big shot, eh? By the way, you must have well. Yes, Your Honor. I'm almost certain that I've seen you somewhere before. Or am I just imagining things? You look very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you're imagining things, Your Honor. Miss Von Karma, do you have anything to say? There is no such weakling as this man among those of the prosecutor's office. Oh! I, I appreciate that, but <laughs> ow. That fucking hurts. Just, just bring it home. <laughs> there, there isn't, but I'm sure one before I act. I told you, there is no such weakling. Well, was that a whip? I'm not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom. B bailiff, remove that whip. At Whoa. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. I have no objection to the whip. <laughs> you know? Prosecution can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. <laughs> but there is still only one truth. That is what I stand here to prove today. How would he know that, though? Unless he just randomly picked a number of something like or that. They just, or they just broke the fourth wall. True. true. They like it, to do it, that. Yes, they do. <laughs> that, is, that is what I stand here to prove today. Hmm. <laughs> 
This promises to be interesting, Miles Edgeworth. I had expected to face Phoenix right here today. But looking at you now, maybe this is what I have been waiting for all this time. Miles Edgeworth, I will not allow this chance to crush you, to crush you, slip through my fingers. Oh yeah, she really wanted to. Hmm. <laughs> I see you brought your fla your flair for the hist histronic. His, his, history. Histor Histor <laughs> histronic? I don't know. He likes big words. History. <laughs> Bio history. 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 Ironic. Bionics. <laughs> the Lego Bionics. Bionicles. That's what they were called. Oh there we God. go. That's a flashback to the past. Oh, man. My childhood. Allow me to add to the things I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. I want. The stage is set. Now continue with the proceedings, Your Honor. Man, it's like, I haven't done her voice in so long. It's been a while. But it just <laughs> snaps right back in. Yeah. Have you noticed? Like, just boom. Yeah. Very well, Miss Von Gama. Please give an outline of this case. With as little weapon as possible. The murder victim is the famed picture book author, Miss Elise Dunham. Her body was found in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword from a golden statue. The sword in this picture is the weapon in question, correct? Very well. The court accepts this photo of the crime scene. Yeah. I apologize if there's any weird background sound going on right now because it's storming outside with rain right now. Yeah. So that might be getting picked up every once in a while. But just, just, just pretend there that's not happening. There is no mistake. This was the doing of Sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Very well. Please bring this witness to the stand. Mm. Oh boy. This and is so, so it weird. Begins. This is so weird. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <sighs> and so it begins. My first and last trial as a defense attorney. Yeah. Oh my god, you poor thing. <laughs> I know that feeling. Witness, stake your name and occupation, please. Someone get her a milk crate to stand on, please. <laughs> Over on here, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not sure about being not sure if I care for this at all. Witness, please stand up nice and straight. <laughs> oh my God! If I recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the defendant's <laughs> lobby for our back for our back pain plagued witness. Bailiff, fetch a crate for this poor lady, please. No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Jeez. thing. Please, once again, your name and occupation, please. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get back into her thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh man. A higher pitch, Trilo. I know. <laughs> between between this guy and this woman, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> do another it's like now, Do I need to pick the bikini <laughs> back up again? No, 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 no. It's okay. This will be a test for me. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Little old me. Well, I'm the head nun of Hazakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. I think that was it. My yeah. name is Bikini. You got it? Bikini. Nice to meet everyone. That was awkward when she was jumping around. Her fucking face fat jiggled. It uh, did. That was gross. Did I pretty much uh, bring, bring it back? I think so, yeah. yeah. Er... But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Oh my god, everyone. Arr! The courtroom is the garden of holy judgment. Those with lechery in their hearts should leave this sanctuary at once. You want me to leave? <laughs> okay, I gotta like... I almost went to a southern accent with her. Whew, okay. It can get confusing. <laughs> no need to get your bikinis in the twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in summer. <laughs> oh, God. I don't like it. In any case. <laughs> witness, I hear that you saw the crime take place on the night in question. That's right. I can still hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that. Let us hear what you have to say then. First, tell us about. First, tell us about your own oh movements that night, eh? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. They didn't hold back on that one. No, I had to do it at least once. Oh, they didn't tell you about the case on that time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. Stop. Oh, God. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the, in the temple, but 
Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. <laughs> so I left Iris to help the Acolyte return to Hazakura Temple. There's no bath at the in the temple, you see, and I needed a long hot soak. It was after I'd finished, just as I was heading back. That's when I saw it! Hmm. So it was simply a coincidence that you found yourself returning to Hazakura Temple? Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed in the in the temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. Yeah. There is only one problem with this testimony is that I can see. And you're not about to fall at the first hurdle now, are you, Miles Edgeworth? Hmm. <laughs> She's having fun. <laughs> yeah. Miss Ray oh. oh please proceed to cross examination. I didn't mean to hit the A button, I moved the controller. I never thought and I would it, say like, Mr. Edgeworth's cross examination. Yeah. Like what? I have an eye on the training in your temple. Just press but... everything. Yeah, it just that takes up so, so much weird. time. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> what is this inner temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what uh, we we train people to do, right? We'll be the ones asking you the questions, madam. In order to do that, a place is a place strong in spiritual power is required. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes must spend an entire night there to undergo intense training. And how exactly do you help with this process? It is all quite exacting. It can't be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor watching to make sure a spoiled child studies. A tutor with a whip in your case. <laughs> if that is the case, then why did you return to Hazakura Temple where the murder took place? My back. <laughs> Violently. Da -la 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 -la. Violently. That sounds really hard. That's right, it's no laughing matter, especially in winter. I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Jeez. <laughs> Just being alive is like strict training. <laughs> oh, there's the face fat. Oh. <laughs> On the night of the murder. You was never this noticed fabulous that. back of yours hurting again? No, like I, was, I, say, I said it to you, but you didn't notice it first, remember? No, I mean like all the other times that she'd laughed, you never noticed that? No, I guess not. Yeah. I was also having to read her lines too. Yeah, so. true. <laughs> All right, so on this night of the murder was this fabulous back of yours hurting again. <laughs> fabulous. That's right, raging like a bull in the pig pen. I almost said pigeon. I almost fainted once or twice. To be fair, I read that as pigeon when I first <laughs> okay. went across it. I just knew that unless I warmed it up, it was going to finally finish me off. Right, so I left hours to help the acolyte and return to ask her temple. Blah, 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 blah. You left hours to help with what? What do you think? The acolyte's training, of course. It was just past 10 p.m., so we were starting to enter the training exercises proper. Wasn't your place to remain with their disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the acolytes so they don't pass away. Jesus. Oh, God. Just to confirm this point again that night, you met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest girl. She's never once failed to follow my directions. There's no Beth of the Iron Temple you see in If Trilo fused with Maya, that's pretty much what this voice is. Yeah. <laughs> Curious, do we have anything that contradicts anything? The only thing I'd throw was that note and be like she was too scared to go over there, but this isn't really her Iris' testimony. So I could always use that, I think, as the... Yeah. Yep, Boom. there we go. Boom. Because they do not match at all. Yeah, no. Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. Yep. The defendant's fate rests on the power and observation of memory, after all. Well, 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 don't worry. I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hazakura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, oh. I think it explains something for me. The script to be testimony in that of the defendant Iris. She claims after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. N no! She said that? A defendant or a witness? Who is more likely to lie, do you suppose? The so defendant is simply lying to cover her back. But the psycho locks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazakura Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better alibi. Mm-hmm. But that is odd. 
Whatever the reason, I can't believe that she would lie. Mmm, she does indeed have honest eyes. <laughs> All people lie, that is my belief. Why am I the only one being whipped in here? <laughs> and the way, neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie. Which means, we must call your memory into question. Dear, 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 you're older than me and yet you want to play that game, do you? Uh, uh, well, that isn't exactly what I... My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in winter. <laughs> then, I suppose it's too early to end this cross-examination, eh? Mr. Edgeworth, if you're going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show me a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone would do the trick. Hmm. And please add your comments and boot errors to the testimony. God damn it. <laughs> and let us return to the cross-examination. It's a weird combination of a stereotypical Canadian accent and a southern accent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, so... Are you used to only... It's Is it weird for you to do only one voice while we're in court like this? <laughs> I, I guess. Not only are you doing one voice, but it's Edgeworth as the defense attorney. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so now I've changed this. Sorry, I've seen my commands. It had been at dinner. I don't think I have anything against that. The only thing I'd have is that, technically, because mm. we got his hood, or we got her hood. His. <laughs> so I was thinking because she gave it to yeah. Phoenix. Are you sure that you're not mis making a mistake? You young man need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. Yeah. I was always wears the same clothes. <clears throat> the smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. Well, that's it then. You're making a mistake. Thinking I made a mistake. An excellent fair say, witness. Still have to wonder. Well, now it's 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 it's, it's easy now. Yeah. I don't even need to say. Yeah. Boom. Witness. Let's get one thing straight. It's a big thing, too. The defendant whom you claim to have met. She was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course. That's a very important piece of clothing I'll have, you know? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. hey, hold it right there. Why do you have that? Hmm. That's the question of the day now, isn't it, Miss Von Karma? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night. Before the lights out bell was rung. Th what? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, then the iris she saw would have been missing this very hood. That's true. Well, well, well! <laughs> Look, <laughs> she looks so many creeps. Yeah. It's not a bad feeling at all exposing contradictions like this. Now I understand that yeah. happy look on Wright's face every time he does when it. his hands on his <laughs> hips and that smirk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 where? Sister, this hood. You have spare ones around the temple, don't you? Spare? <laughs> See, spare? Spares, well. I do tend to make too many of them. I see. A stockpile. A surplus of hoods, eh? Each land has only given one hood. This should be the only hood that I resowned. Mmm, this is quite strange. Where? <laughs> it's there was a surplus of hoods, and she could have worn one of those. There's no contradiction here. Mmm. I'm sorry to break this to you, Miss Von Karma, but you won't get away that easy. Discrepancies such, such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness? Well, I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt. You must give every detail with precision. I, I'm not sure I'm comfortable going along with this. Sister, you shall continue with your testimony. Tell us what you saw after finishing your bath on your way back to the inner temple. Those seeds of doubt are spreading in the judge's heart. They just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. He likes metaphors, doesn't he? <laughs> Gotta stimulate the judge's fruit. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> Listen, how can I not make how could I not make that joke, okay? <sighs> After the bath. I finished my bath around eleven, and I thought I should return to the end of the temple. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look and Iris was Oh, Mr. Galise! And with that sword of all things. 
Mr. Khalees was staying in the corner room which faces out into the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of a window. She just called her Mr. Khalees. Instead of... Yeah, well, she, she said that before. Do you know, really? Yeah, they, she said that once before. Hmm, okay. Oops, I seen uh, the thing. What, what, what do you say? Sorry. What do you say? I don't know. Evan! Oops. I'm sorry! <laughs> <sighs> Who knows what he said? It, it wasn't anything too crazy. If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Von Comer whipping Mr. Edwards in two in court. And me, sitting off in this very chair. Or, well, something like, something like that. <laughs> this judge. His imagination is about as vivid and creative as Dick Dive Gumshoe. I would look. Oh God! Here we go. I would look so fool if I commented on such foolishness. Anyways, this case is mine, Miles Edgeworth. Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that habit of yours? <laughs> Phoenix Wright, Miles Edgeworth. All right. So I think I already know because. She was at the end here. Uh, Sam has occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Now, how does she know about that in the first place? Yeah. But uh, we have the autopsy. She, her body fell after death. Yeah. Boom. So, oops. Oh, wait. Hey, I, I need to present, present, <laughs> present, present, present. Yep. Boom. Easy peasy. We, we know that sound. And yeah. Impressive logic. That's what I like to say anyways. Oh, please do. My brain is something else. Especially in winter. However, I think you're overlooking one thing. What's her thing in saying especially in winter with everything? Yeah. Miss San Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The, the autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Uh, well, that's right, it's just after this right here. The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. Yep. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard, how did the victim then go on to take a 10 foot fall? Uh, my fitness is stupid to kid. <laughs> uh, order, order. The victim was killed and then fell. That's the case. And the victim must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? Z that is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. Z the victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And she was then thrown out of her window down into the courtyard below. <laughs> Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Junum's room? Mm. <laughs> she was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? What? Well, Miss Von Karma, was there any blood? Arr! No traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Your weapon just caused traces of blood to be found on my glorious playoff beard. Oh my god. <laughs> However, if there was no blood in the room, then you I were. I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this. As I'm sure your honor is well aware of when a stab wound <laughs> produces the most blood. When it produces the most blood. Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade, when the blade is removed. That's true. Yeah. Because then it, let, it stops all the blood from coming out. Indeed. With the weapon still in place, it acts like a lid on the wound. That's true. With the weapon still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. Perfectly reasonable line of thinking. Jesus. <laughs> we have come to a conclusion then. The victim was thrown out of the window with the, court with the sword still in place. This removes all of the contradictions. Yeah, I doubt that one. Very highly. Order, order, order. I must admit this is a, pr a probable version of events. I'd expect no less from Francesca Von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. <laughs> it seems... Now we need a, a, a clear testimony from the witness. Remove all the sup, sup, supposition on your part and tell us the only fact, only the facts, please. You okay I'm, there? I'm learning. My um. Oh God. Witness, what? please remain standing on the crate. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't go selling me short now. <laughs> uh, the weight of winter snow has bent me out of shape. 
Especially my back and my mood. Oh, Christ. <sighs> Sister, please give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> With the whip? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. All right, all right. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. The witness testimony with further details. Yep. And we're gonna do it next time. <gasps> Ooh.